morning guys welcome to what could be another vlog if you are seeing this then of course it is yeah it's now heading towards quarter past seven in the morning gotta keep it a little quiet because the girlfriend's asleep just about to get ready even though i swear to god my hair gets greasy so quickly i washed that like last night don't know what the hell's going on from with my hair recently, it looks like I've just got greasy hair constantly. I'm not that scruffy. At 8, I have to be at our friend's house because they're having fire alarms fitted in their apartment. And to save them having to take a day off work and wasting a good potential holiday, I said that I'd go over there and let the guy in. I hope he doesn't want to talk to me because my German isn't that good, plus I hate having to talk to people like that when they come into the apartment and stuff. I'm just a terrible human being. If people didn't exist, I'd be very, very happy. I'm in the bathroom, finished off getting ready, enjoying a nice cup of coffee. Got a feeling I'll be having a few of these this morning. And I thought I'd make a little bit of a vlog, because I've got a few things to do today. And I thought I'd take you guys with me. So yeah, I'm going to take the laptop with me. I'm going to take my phone with me, obviously, film it. I won't film too much in their apartment. But I will film their cats, and I'm probably going to do some editing while I awkwardly sit there as a stranger is fitting smoke alarms. So, the next thing you'll see is hopefully a lovely scene on the bridge. There you go, Terry. Well, wasn't that nice? 10 to 8 in the morning, and I'm already a hot and sticky mess absolutely freezing outside and I've just got like this shirt and a t-shirt on and then coming in it's really warm I'm out of breath because I'm unhealthy as hell probably shouldn't be doing beer reviews yeah I'm here and I'm in the need for a coffee who's that handsome chap? Just about to start editing. Um, I think the guy is here. He's in a couple of apartments before ours. So I can get a nice little chunk of video edited. And then after he's gone, I'm going to show you some kitties. So, uh, yeah, all is zen right now. Ah, <laughs> oh, is that right? You're so clingy today. You're so clingy today. Boof. Do I know? Is that totally your chair? Huh? Boof. <laughs> Hello? Yeah, you're not having none of it, are you, mate? Fair enough. It's the one on the right usually that's really, really timid, but she's actually being quite clingy today. The one on the left is the one who usually has anything to do with humans. Well, they've gone, and it's about, well, it's 25 to 10 now, so didn't have to wait long for them, to be honest. Quick in and out. They did seem a little douchey, to say the least, but you know what? Fair play to them. They've probably got to get through so many apartments today but yeah they weren't any trouble i was just a little bit worried that the cats would run out thankfully they were shit scared of the uh loud noise from the drills and stuff that they just hid under a bed so thankfully they're both still in the apartment they're still both alive and well i'm not gonna go home just yet probably gonna have another coffee do a little bit more editing and then i don't know what you will be seeing next after this. Anyway, so I need a coffee. You okay, darling? Those nasty human species thingies annoy you. Yeah, I know that feeling, mate. You're just like your Uncle Peter, aren't you? Huh? You are. 
Who knew I would ever become that guy who actually talks to cats like they completely understand what the hell I'm talking about? Who knew? Cheers. Well, that's me done here. I know it's not exactly been the most thrilling of vlogs right now, and it's not really even been beer-related, but there should be some beer-related content towards the end, because I do have a couple of things planned for today. The cats are okay. Apartment's okay. I think they've finished in this building. Not too sure what you'll be seeing next, but this definitely isn't the end of the video. Thank you for sticking with me so far, and whatever I show next, I hope you enjoy. Thanks for sticking around, and I'll see you in a bit. Yeah, it's about ten past two now, going on quarter past, something like that. And uh, not really done much since I've come back. I'm going to be here till at least half past two because I'm waiting for a potential beer mail from a brewery who has sent over a couple of samples. So I'm terrible when I'm waiting for any package. It's just one of the worst things for me when you've got to wait, wait, wait. I become really, you know, intolerable. If it comes or it doesn't come, um, I'm going to go over to Beretta and then when I come back, got some housework to do and that sort of stuff and then I'm going to be cooking a sort of like a Guinness and mince pie. I told you I'd have a uh, beer related stuff going on. Not much but it's beer related. So thank you guys for sticking with me and I shall hopefully see you in a bit. So very quickly before I head on out I got this uh, fairly interesting comment recently. I got a comment from these guys over at Source Team on my Tropigamma video they want to compile a list or a video of uh, the best Beaver Town beer reviews. Um, I would hardly class my review of the beer um, as that, but yeah, I'm probably going to go through with it, to be honest. It, it always helps to get your channel out there and that sort of thing. And uh, yeah, I was wondering if, if anybody else had received comments like this. I mean, I know we get those like oh, join our network sort of messages and stuff like that. Uh, but I just thought I'd share this, so we'll see how that goes. All right, guys, back from Beretta. Unfortunately, didn't get any footage because uh, there was just one girl working in there. And I didn't want to, you know, get in the way or step in anyone's toes and that sort of thing. I should say that I look like a hot and sticky mess because I am a hot and sticky mess. It's fucking 19 degrees right now here in Regensburg. Who the hell wants that? It's the end of March. I don't want fucking 19 degrees. 19 fucking degrees. Are you kidding me? My back is so fucking sweaty right now. And as you can see, I've become a whiny little bitch. So, the stuff that I picked up from Beretta, um, I was going to pick up a can of Inhaler from Magic Rock to drink while I was cooking, but they seem to have sold out, so of course I had to settle for a can of Gamma Ray, so I'm going to pop that in the fridge. Uh, and I picked up two other beers, the first one from a brewery that I've wanted to try for such a long time, and is it Oedipus, is that how you pronounce it? Uh, these guys are out of Amsterdam. And this is the one, uh, Kinder Yoga, clocking in at 11% ABV, beautiful artwork. Um, I'm not going to be aging this beer, um, but I want the right time to drink it. But yeah, been wanting to try a beer from these guys, and I've got to say, the label sold it to me. The beer that I went there for in the first place is, of course, Founders KBS. Um, I believe this is the 2016 version, considering the fact that the best before date is the 12th of the 6th, or the 6th of the 12th, 2017. Don't know why I was reading it um, in the American format. But of course I don't know all the details about this beer because they like to stick this bloody intrusive label on. Uh, another pet peeve of mine, but uh, yeah, it's a beer that really needs no introduction it's always hyped up to the death and i wanted to get a bottle I'm not going to be aging this one or anything like that i will be tucking into it but i might save it for a milestone but uh yeah i've always wanted to try it and it's available here in germany for about eight euros so i think you're going to be paying around that price no matter where you are outside of the us so uh, yeah very excited to try that one 
So the two in, uh, stouts are going to go downstairs in the basement. I'll take you with me so I can show you my little stash of beers. This is going to go in the fridge so I could drink it in a little bit. Yeah, let's go down into the creepy basement. So as you can see, the uh, the light is actually just on a timer, so it goes off at the worst possible time. I've been watching uh, Over the Guns playthrough of Resident Evil 7, so I'm getting some really genuinely creepy vibes right now. But this box here is essentially my beer cellar where I store my beers. Inside, of course, we've got the KBS which I've got over there, and then the, everything's fallen around me, the Upidus. Uh, I've got a Aventinus icebox stored in there, a couple of bottles of the um, Chateaubriand um, barley wine from Rana Broy that they sent me, which I am aging, and the only other beer that I've got is the Imperial Russian Stout from the Ramsgate Brewery, which was sent to me by Craig over at Kent Beer Reviews. So I'm saving that one for a like a, a milestone video. As you can see, my supply is running pretty damn low, but I was uh, planning on actually cutting down for a couple of weeks until my next uh, live review with Dean. Yeah, hopefully I can last a couple of weeks without beer. I thought I'd just quickly show you the shit scary basement. So there's been a little bit of a change of plan. Um, I'm still making the pie, but I think I said earlier in the vlog that I was gonna record me making the pie and put like a little cooking video together. I don't think it's worth it. There's much more uh, interesting people and uh, actual cooks out there who use beer. But I'm gonna show you uh, what it looks like after this. So I'm gonna take this opportunity to say a massive thank you to everyone who has made it through to this point. I like doing these sorts of videos every now and then. It went a little bit longer than I thought it would do, but it's always good to have videos like this so people can watch whenever they want, you know, when they've got like a break or something like that, or having a little bit of a tea or coffee break, that sort of thing, or when you're having a shit on the toilet. Perfect viewing. Most people end their videos by saying, do you want me to do more videos like this, blah, 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 blah. I think I'll just do them every now and then, spare of the moment type things. This is just going to be uploaded in regular quality because it's going to be an absolutely massive file size if it's 720 and that sort of stuff. But um, yeah, a massive, massive thank you to those who have watched up until the end. Let me know your thoughts, opinions down below. And uh, yeah, I'm currently crouching on the floor for whatever reason. So hopefully what you're going to see now is some good old fashioned food porn. Oh yes. See you guys later. Food porn. Food porn. Food bomb.